The first thing prayer does is that he opens you to the voice of God. The second thing is that he brings the presence over you. If you intend to manifest the influence of the kingdom, please understand divine presence. Otherwise, That's where some of these men have gone to. And when they speak, their words never fall to the ground. But in the name of Jesus, that presence will rest upon you. Classically speaking, in theology, the story of Job is believed to be um, the most, the greatest expression of the operation of Satan and darkness over man. Because when you read the entire 42 chapters of Job, the most important, in my opinion, of the 42 chapters is chapters 1 and 2 and then chapters 42. Chapters 1 and 2 talks about the two levels of his test. Is that true? The test on his wealth and his children. Then chapter 2, the test on his health. And then chapter 42, we see that it was the restoration of Job. Every other thing that happened in between Elihu, the story, all of that is important. The reason why I'm putting it before others is I know that the book of Job, from a chronological arrangement of scripture, in as much as we know, comes before Psalms. But um, if the Bible were to be arranged properly, from its, its chrono chronologically, the book of Job is believed to be somewhere in between Genesis and Exodus. Are we together? I hope you know that the arrangement of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation as we know now is not accurate in terms of its chronological arrangement. Nothing is exactly wrong with it, but in terms of its chronology means as the events occurred. Sometimes when you need to go into the deeper layer of Bible study, you will have to arrange the Bible chronologically to now make sense as you explore. In fact, it is one of the ways we study scripture. Maybe one day we'll discuss it here, how to study the Bible. There are many templates for studying the Bible. Number one, you can study the Bible according to the various books. And the Bible is classified according to various books. Number one, there is a Torah or the Pentateuch, the five books of Moses. Are we together? And then there is what is called the poetic books. All of the books that have to do with poetic descriptions, Ecclesiastes, you know, Proverbs, and all of that. And then we have what we call the prophets, the major and the minor prophets. Are we together? And then we have um, what we call the gospels, the four books that represent the gospel. We have the book of Acts. We have the epistles. Then we have Revelation. We also have Judges and all of these, all the other books that, the, that, that chronicle the events of kings, beginning from King Saul. Because it was not God's desire that men would have an earthly king. He wanted to be king directly over them. But because of their desire wanting a king, God used Samuel to anoint Saul. And then you have lots of other kings that ruled Israel, Josiah and Joash being the youngest. Josiah ruled at age 9, Joash ruled at age 8. We have a lot of other people like that. So when you read the Bible, you can study the Bible based on these books. You can also study the Bible topically. Are we still learning? There is the topical study of the Bible. That means you can pick faith and study. You can pick the ministry of Jesus and study. You can pick the fruit of the Spirit. In fact, it's, it's the topical study of the Bible has proven to be the most effective. The reason is because it addresses the issue of your concern immediately. If you study the subject of faith and you gain understanding, you can begin to see the results immediately. And it will serve as a motivation and a consolation. Then there is the chronological study of Bible. The word chronos just means the passage of time. The arrangement of the chapters and the verses and the books according to the time they occurred. Hallelujah. So back to our discussion. We are examining the biblical basis for the study of Satan, demons and their operations. And we said, we hope this message has blessed you a lot. 
Please do well to bless others by sharing this message to them. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Kindly do that now if you haven't done that before. Thank you.